Welcome back. We're getting into the St. Patrick's Day spirit here in the Research Kitchen with Chef Justin Wiley. He's making Irish boxty. Yes, it's an old Irish pancake. And, oh, Potato it's pancake. So good in here. And so we're going to start out with one and a half cups of grated potato. And the important thing when you're grating a potato, they have a lot of moisture. So you want to take a like a nice flour sack towel. Okay. Like I have right here. And get the potato in there and just squeeze it all out. Really? Yeah, you want to get all the water. After you've after you've grated, grated it. it. And then this is what you want after. This is the starch that's left over. And it will help bind the potato. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do one cup of all-purpose flour. Now, real quick, what kind of potatoes did you use? I'm using Yukon Golds. Okay. And we're going to just coat the potato with the flour. So I'm wondering how you got that juice. Okay, I know you said, because it's not... Yeah, you squeeze the water out and the starch will sink to the bottom. And you just drain the water oh, off. Oh, okay, okay. It. I'm trying to picture this. And then in a separate bowl, you want to take one egg. Okay. And about a, one tablespoon of skim milk. And whisk. And with the nice whip, whisk, whatever you want to say. Oh. Get it going like that. Okay. And then if you, we want to be interactive, so dump about one cup of already mashed potato. Ooh. Oh, it came out. Okay. Yeah, cool. it came out perfect. Oh, those mashed potatoes look good too. And we're going to go ahead and just incorporate the egg and the skim milk with the mashed potato. Now, do you make like regular mashed potatoes if you put yeah. like, you know, yeah, it's sour regular. Cream so or these, whatever. these are these are going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit more fancier because th those mashed potatoes have sour cream and cream cheese and all sorts oh, of little goodies in them. Delicious. And then we're going to take that starch that remains about, you know, about 20 minutes afterwards out of there and incorporate that into the mixture and then just salt some and salt and pepper. Now, how do you recommend making your mashed potatoes? Oh, well, I leave the skins on, you know, boil them for, you know, until they're fork tender, and then put them in a KitchenAid mixer That's and it. butter and, yeah. All work, the delicious things? Work with them while they're hot. So you have to be a little bit careful, but, you know, they're pretty easy. And then the grated potatoes that are coated with the flour, we want to go ahead and mix in. Okay. And you want to get, you're looking for like kind of like a, you know, a, a thicker batter. Okay. And, and then, yeah, and, sorry, we're running out of time. And then we're going to go ahead and just put them in. The pan? Let and them go for it. a little while? Yeah, that's it. And just kind of watch them until they're brown. About three minutes on each side. Ah, delicious. Can't wait to try them. All right, well, we'll try this in just a little All bit. Right, thank you.